Yo guys, welcome back to Humble Performance. It's, it's been about a week since we made a video, but not for good reason. Believe me, we've been shooting something in the background and I cannot even turn around to show you what we've been doing. Um, but today on the dyno, we've got Alex's car on the dyno here. This is Alex's sedan. We've talked about this previously. Some of you guys already know about this car, some of you guys don't. I'll be going over details in this car in a little bit for you guys. Um, but yeah, this is Alex's sedan. It's a K series. It's basically mint. It was built by Justin Gossard. I'm sorry if I butchered that last name. Justin Gossard in uh, Hagerstown, Maryland. This is a car built by Hub City Performance. We purchased it. We're going to be upgrading it, making it a bit faster. But to start, we're going to be starting with the stock K2082. That's a stock K2082 CRV transmission. Um, but yeah, but we're gonna start off right now. Um, the alternator came in, it's, it's bad, so we're gonna replace that, get on the dyno, start making some pulls. Alex said he said he wants to leave it around 550, give or take, just to keep it safe. We're gonna take it to the track and see what you can do, but uh, we're getting her all set up right now, getting the alternator installed, and then we're gonna make some pulls. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. this thing on the dyno, make some pulls, get her up to power, take her out the Tulsa, make some passes. Number one, 409 wheel horsepower, 257 wheel torque. Man, already on point. Look at the air fuel, first pass. A little rich. It's crazy. It looks like you've tuned a few of these before. What's that? Oh boy. Starting off easy. I can already feel it's got boost control. What's that? Like yeah. I mean, you don't really need boost control in an all-wheel drive car, to be fair. Yeah, it's a stock motor. That's true. Is that like zero percent duty and everything, or low duty? Damn. Yeah, it's up to a very, very top 139. 139. Big turbo for a stock motor, but uh, yeah. I can kind of fix it with the quick spool to kind of get the power sooner and then right. just kind of try to hold, help, help right. the boost creep a little bit. I would, I would like to try to see 550 or so, 5550 and just test it. You know? Yeah. So, 
eventually we're gonna build a motor and I need a better penny and stuff. Yeah. But I can plan around with all these projects. Here. Right. You know how it gets. Yep. We're doing the one that we haven't showed yet. We're doing Laleta, doing this one, help and follow, copy. Oh boy. Alright. Well she's close already. One pull in. Damn. Four three sixteen. Four ninety nine three twenty nine. That was a that was a send pass. Five eighty one, three sixty nine. So before we even started today, Alex told me he was gunning for five hundred fifty horsepower. I don't know if I believe him or not. This motherfucker's crazy. So we're gonna see what he does in this next pull. I'm pretty sure this is about to be a send it pass. That's a stock RSX K28 too. Oh boy. What the log say? Send it. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not bad. Stock K20. Stock stock. Oh snap. Gotta do it for the gram. So it probably makes a little bit more than that in fourth. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? I think third and this is one to one. Oh, so it's like a long gear. Put second to pump. Peace. All right. We're gonna find out real quick. Here we go. All right, guys. Time to unstrap, and now it's my favorite part of the video. We're going dyno to track. Right here, you know how we do it already. Bo's gonna unstrap the bitch. We're probably gonna stop at a gas station, get fuel. We're gonna roll out to the track, roll four deep in the sedan. Hopefully it makes some passes and drive the car back. So uh, come along with us as we uh, get this thing ready. I've pulled up another map here. So this blue line here is gonna be Juan Batista in a stock K24. The red line is the K20 in El Abuelo. This is here, this is actually the difference between a smaller turbo and then a higher engine, like a bigger displacement engine. Look at the torque curve difference there. So this car is running on a 67, 66, so it's a little bit more laggier. Has a lot more power potential up top. There you guys can go. So this is this right here is what's hopefully gonna keep everything together. If we have this on an all-wheel drive car, maybe not so much, but you guys go.
about five years for this. And you didn't even build it. <laughs> To break down the setup for all of you guys who are wondering what all is going on, so this is a stock K28 2RSX engine. It has a CRV transmission. It has the Hub City Performance rear trailing arms, and what these trailing arms do. So you guys can see, it'll actually push the lower control arm back, so you can clear the axle because the strut actually preloads to the back. These are stock wagon axles, long and short, not that, not too long axles. Civic wagon rear differential. So it's the exact same setup that's in the hatchback, um, but it's already done. This is actually done by the guy who makes the all wheel drive kits. He also has the Vistas couple rounds here. So we're gonna mount up the drive shaft, get her going, and then get out to the track. So there's the breakdown of the all wheel drive build, just like what I've seen in the previous videos. And uh, that's the kit we offer on our website at shop.humbleperformance.com. He actually, this car was before the billet diff mount. So there is no billet diff mount here. He actually built it into the stock subframe. Um, but now that we have an easy piece that goes on the back of this, so if you look down here at my car, which I think we've shown before as well, or if you've seen something like Motion Auto, I have the bill of diff mount. This is made by Hub City as well. This actually came after this sedan was built. But uh, yeah, we got all the parts you guys need for the all-wheel drive conversion on our website. If you guys are interested, but uh, I think it's about time we start making some jam with this thing. So this is something that you will never see someone talk about in the all-wheel drive car and we did not know until now either When you go to put the drive shaft back in after your dynoing you do have to lift The wheels off the ground otherwise the car will move back and forth So if you get lucky they'll line up, but usually I mean they didn't for us and we didn't want to do it here on the lift So we had the rears lifted so we can line up the drive shaft on the front So both put the drives on the front so we rotate the wheels to make it all match up so a little something you guys should know if you're dynamoing the car front wheel drive, you might have to jack up the rear to be able to turn the drive shaft where it needs to be to connect to the transfer case. So we're almost ready, but this little uh, little quirk that we did not know was there until today. Boom, back up again. Put the exhaust up. So I think this also lets you guys be able to see how an exhaust can be routed as well. Justin did a full exhaust on this car. I mean, minus the muffler, it has a turn down. Um, but yeah, the car has a full exhaust, so it's not just an open down pipe or anything. It actually does run alongside the drive shaft. So I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like once we get it up. And then uh, grab some fuel and be on our way. there she runs right there parallel with the drive shaft she runs pretty tight but she fits under the car dumps right there so I don't think they wanted to go over the axle I can kind of see why um, but yeah That's what the exhaust looks like as you guys can see almost the full uh, full exhaust on one of these things Just gotta make sure the angles a little bit right that way yeah. it can't move with the drive shaft it's clearing Obviously, you don't ever want that hitting, so boom, boom. She's looking good. Hey, my grandpa got hot day off, bro. What's that? Oh, geez. Calm down. Yeah. Well, boom. There she goes, ready to rock. All right, you guys, so we're on our way to the track right now with the sedan. I asked Alex before we left, when was the last time you drove your race car to the track? And he said, I don't think that I ever have. So this is a first for Alex. We're gonna drive this in out there. Hopefully it makes it back in one piece. He's going straight home after this if it all works out. 
But uh, as with these things, you never know what can happen, especially at this this much power on an untested, I mean, it's not untested, but for us, completely untested setup. So uh, yeah, he's not gonna be on the way here, so there's gonna be no street pulls on the way there or anything. But uh, yeah, we'll be at the track here. The track's only about like five or 10 minutes away from us, so we'll be there in a couple minutes. And uh, we're gonna unload and meet Trevor De Lorenzo with his stock K24 EG at the track and hopefully get some badass passes today. We're all on hunt for the nine second bounty still. Um, so yeah, we're gonna pull on the highway here and then uh, we're gonna be over at the track here in a couple minutes. All right guys, we are at the track. We met Trevor with the stock 500 horsepower EG. <laughs> Getting the slicks all mounted up, 24 and a half inch Bellox. Get all set up. So they made the trip no problem whatsoever. We're getting ready to make some passes here and uh, we're gonna see what both these things can do. So kind of excited to see what they'll do right here. But uh, yeah, so the recap you guys, if you didn't see the last video with Trevor's car, Trevor's car made 500 horsepower on the dot. Alex's sedan made 600 horsepower on the dot, so it's a 100 power difference, 100 horsepower difference. What's that? 350, sorry. But yeah, so we're gonna get these things all ready to go and then we're gonna get started. Oh boy. That dude did a burnout to the eighth mile. One with the torque down on the impact. Oh jeez, we're good. We're good. That's it. We don't need a torque wrench. We're good. Yeah, just put it on the gun. We get the ride in the staging lanes in luxury. Just another day at TNT with Project Abuelo. Oh boy. Alright, here we go. This is me, Alex's first pass in the sedan. No burnouts. So we're gonna see right here what he can do. Stock K20, stock transmission. He's racing a Dodge Charger. American Muscle versus a Honda right here. Also versus a Honda right here. Go. First pass on a Honda, 11-16-128. Coming out soft out the hole.
So what do you think about that first pass? It was a takedown. I just didn't want to break anything. It was cool, man. Oh, like, geez. My first time ever. It's like not listening. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it, not, it wasn't spinning, but it was right. ripping, you know? How much? On sticks, on speed tires, first pass ever. Jesus. What was, the, what was the eighth mile? Yeah, um, it's on Toyota R1R, R1R, R1R Toyos. So these are full street tires. Let's see. Full interior, full weight. 169 and then the 8th was 73 at 105. 11, 1 at 128. Maybe in the gear. If you see the end car, like when I shift, I mean the turbo is kind of laggy. Right. Power shifting will help and I'm going to try to fix it a little bit in a second. Yeah. yeah I need something very good. Alright guys, here we go. This is going to be Trevor De Lorenzo, 500 horsepower, stock EG, or stock K24 EG. 500 wheel, let's see what we can do right here. Oh. Miss second gear? Yeah. Miss second gear, but that car is still, it's got some speed. 1527, he almost went the same speed as the three cylinder. And <laughs> damn. <laughs> How convenient. This is really convenient. I think this is my favorite car of all time. It is definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I'm the car right now. First time ever driving all wheel drive? Alright, I'm gonna try it again. This is my favorite Ow, car. You hit my funny button. You can just ride around, do whatever. My new favorite car. Jesus. Oh, snap. Everything works. How long has it been since you've driven a race car that actually everything works? Uh, Minus the AC, I guess, at this point. Yeah. Not that we need to get hybrid racing to get us an AC kit. Yeah. Daddy, whenever I'm on the yeah. All right, we're getting ready to do the second pass in the sedan. Little spoolie boy. Well, he makes a good pass right here. We've turned up the boost a lot. So uh, hopefully the motor stays together, but we're going to see what she does. All right, here we go guys, it's going to be Alex's second pass right here in the sedan. Can we make a 10 second pass on street tires? Let's find out right now. Alex will be racing Cameron, the full exhaust EK. Is he gonna go fast or is gonna break right here?
at a 1081 at 136 miles an hour on a fucking street tire. Yeah. Holy hard tire. 1081 on the fucking dot. Let's go. Let's get over here real quick. Damn. Not bad for a street tire Honda. Hell yeah. <laughs> Not bad, girl. Jesus, that shit's fucking moving, dude. Damn. 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 Yeah. I went up 300 RPM, so if I drop it 150, yeah. we're not even dropping like like tire pressure or nothing. Right. I'm happy with that for tonight. I want to get a feel for it. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's literally like, I was just talking to Juan, and then I was like, for the first three seconds, you don't believe your eyes. And you're just like, oh, oh, that car's going fast. It's ridiculous. Oh, man, like, if, if person second, you know, if I had the built motor and a better right. transmission, if person second would pull like it does top of third and right. especially fourth, He's like, what's it feel like versus a front wheel drive car? Uh, On a street tire alone too. The only way that I can explain it is like a a, a slow fun car, if right. it makes sense. Like right. you don't really feel like you're going too crazy because you're used to the bouncing yeah. off the rev limiter, like you know, yeah. the spinning. This it just feels like <laughs> you're driving down the street kind of fast with your family or something. Damn. You know? It's, it's yeah. fun, it's fun. It like, looks it'll, it'll go faster. Damn. The first pass uh, one so slower, yeah. 60 foot. 176, 1081, 136 by just power shifting, yeah. you know. But it, it's fun, so yeah. So I can just turn down first a little bit, but I, yeah. I wanted to see a 10 at least. Yeah. That's all I needed. You can see it right there. Yep. Yeah, street tires. I drove it here and fixed it driving back. <laughs> so it's, it's fun. Damn. It's fun. Don't even have to change the tires either. Oh, it's just ready to go. We can drive home right now. Close the hood. Drive home. Damn. Damn, she's moving. Shit. You ready or what? What's that? Honestly, like, if you had like a, a 62-62 or 62-66 yeah. and it has the more like mid-range power, right. it'll go faster. Right. Sure. It has, it's still laggy. I think it's, for the boost that we're at, I mean, it's it's way up top. Right. And like what we're needing with this gear ratio, it has like a long gear ratio. You need a short, quick right. turbo sport. Right, you know, they're keeping right the power now, band it's longer. like a long gear with like a late power band. Right. Uh, you, can, you can just feel it coming up way up top. If right. I can come like sooner, it'll, it'll go a little bit faster. Man. But still, man, I want to see a 10 on street tires. I, we did it. it. I know it has a lot of potential. So yeah. second pass ever on the yeah. car. Yep. Yeah. Already went 10. We would have done it in the first one, but I just. And then you realize it just shifts like a stock K. Yeah. 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 Well, I feel feels, feels good. Man. Yeah. Could've put some fuel it feels, on. It feels like a like an older an older person has been babying that transmission. <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez. Damn. That feels smooth, feels smooth. I'm happy. Damn. So I wanted to see 10. 10. 1081 at 136. Alright guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Came to get a 10, got a 10 in two passes, no drama. Get to drive the car home. How you feeling? Pretty good. All right, let, let me show the, the highlight of the day. Oh boy. Oh, your insurance card. How much your insurance? Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollar insurance on a 1996 Honda Civic sedan. Not bad. Hey, bro, I'm trying to. I'm playing it safe. I, you know. I yeah. Got title right there. I got 30 days to put the tag. Yep. I insured it. This is a, this is a highlight of the day. Oh jeez. I used to paint over hundred dollars on all of our cars when, when they told me sixteen. I was like, oh my, I'm selling all my cars. <laughs> oh jeez. Damn. Oh jeez. Everyone's gonna get loud, but we came out here for a 10 second pass, got a 10 second pass and two hits. No drama, no problems, no real troubleshooting, just went out, turned the boost up and that's what happened. So uh, that's where we're gonna leave it for now. We don't wanna keep pushing it, it is stock motor. Um, but yeah, I mean a 1081 at 138 miles an hour, not bad for its first time out. We're already in the process of setting up a new motor, so we're gonna have more information on that. We're gonna help, we got a lot of help from a lot of great people to help us out with this motor. So we're gonna be doing a fully built, I hate to say the words fully, but we're gonna do a built engine from a K20 build the trains as well i um, mean we've also got the drag car coming soon oh boy don't have to change tires don't do nothing he's rolling down the window because there's no ac yet 
What's that? The lights? Oh, 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 fancy. Oh, and it has a radio. He uses the radio every day on the fucking on the on the dyno, but there he goes. Driving it on home. And that's all we got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to see more all-wheel drive content, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, do all the things. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Hit up shot at home by the merch. And we'll see you guys later.